Thank you. And thank you all so much for all your support. And for all of the KPI business. that young man out and go back to work. I know. Uh, good job. Yeah. I can carry my work.
um, see if we can get a Unite Club in the middle school and uh, still be able <coughs> to um, give our seniors and high school scholarships. Uh, Operation Unite offers uh, $1,500 per student scholarships if they are participating in the Unite Club or going to the Unite Camp. Um, also, my goal is for our students here and the ones that are participating in the Unite Youth to send them to the Unite Camp. And really, the Unite Camp is for anybody, any student. They don't have to participate, but they're welcome you know, to go ahead and sign up for the uh, Unite Camp. I usually send out information, and I'm, I'm planning on once I get it to maybe phone for it to Mr. Meadows, and maybe you can send it out to your principal. Uh, this is a really, it's a free camp that the students are able to go to, and they get a lot of uh, fun, but educational fun as well. Um, again, we appreciate Mr. Fletcher letting us have the Unite Club last year at the high school, um, because we knew the uh, Operation Unite Youth, we will continue to do a lot of uh, projects in schools. <coughs> We're hoping to go into elementary school, and the middle school, of course, and just to kind of keep them busy and make drug prevention fun for them. So I appreciate it too. Chairman, as we as talked about the school facility plan and the working session, uh, this may not require any action tonight. Uh, we have, the board's already taken the action to bring together the local facility plan. Myself and Larry James uh, will be working on it this week to bring those folks together now that we have a plan from KDE and from the board. Next item on the agenda is discussion and possible action on salary statements. Any further discussion on that? Not only a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve. And a motion and a second. Motion and a second. All in favor, in favor, saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Next item is a discussion and possible action on the Top Hill Scholarship. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The board had requested in the last 10 years for the Top Hill Scholarship that has been provided to the board. 
my recommendation to the board is to engage with the board attorney to determine how to implement uh, or execute the instrument uh, that represents the technical scholarship because it does not fit into the supporting the scholarship for our kids. Uh, we really need to define uh, who's on the committee. Uh, we need to define the, uh, what was the word I was looking for a few years ago, the heirs. The successors, successors, uh, successors, and to make sure that we're clear on who the committee or what the committee is composed of, who is sitting on the committee to determine how much and when these scholarships are given each year. So again, my recommendation is to engage a board attorney to, if we need to petition to understand what this instrument is about and how we can execute it properly. Any motion to uh, approve that recommendation? Got a recommendation to engage board attorney, attorney to, to determine how to execute okay. the instrument. Tuck your scholarship. Yeah, I'll make a motion. And motion and second. Second. One favor in favor saying aye. Aye. Any opponents? Motion carries. The next item is discussion and possible action on the agreement between Warren County Board of Education and the Big Sandy Area Community Action Program, Federal Next Program. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is an ongoing agreement. It's an annual renewal for the Head Start Program that we, the Board of Education is the delegate for and responsible for, Head Start Program. So I recommend to the Board that we accept and approve this agreement. Any further discussion regarding this? So has started program agreement. If not, I need a motion to approve. Motion. Yeah. Motion and a second. All in favor and please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item, discussion and possible action on board policy 09.42 bullying and hazing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The policies were given to the board members. Uh, I believe in with the, the next item as well, or rather, I'm sorry, the new business, and it also has our assault policy. I would recommend to the board to consider changing the verbiage if that is your intent, or rather to get uh, done what you want to get done uh, with the uh, suspension, is to leave 9422 as is. My recommendation would be to uh, revise the assault and threat which is 09425. 09425. So it really doesn't need an action on this item unless the board chooses to do so. So we'll address that later on. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. There's no further discussion. We'll move on to the next item on the agenda, which is uh, discussion of possible action on board policy 08.2323 and 09461 to electronic media telecommunication Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Once again, uh, this item uh, probably doesn't require action tonight. The reason why it's on the agenda is twofold. One is bring awareness to the board about the policy and the recent uh, issues surrounding telecommunication devices and inappropriate use, uh, specifically by middle school students and high school students. It did really raise the alarm levels in the community and for the audience as well to know that uh, the district leadership is taking appropriate action, responding to um, our kids in the school that, uh, that really is, they're engaging in criminal activity. Uh, we had a couple of incidents in our middle school and our high school where uh, kids were uh, receiving, had possession of uh, inappropriate images, uh, which would be considered pornographic in nature, uh, which under the estimation of the leadership of the school uh, constituted a possible criminal activity. So the phones were confiscated, law enforcement was contacted, and uh, we have uh, uh, conducted multiple uh, trainings with uh, public affairs and the state police. Uh, we have been in discussions and are in discussions with uh, local law enforcement officials, uh, state assistant commonwealth attorney, uh, local attorneys, district attorney, local law enforcement, and trying to make sure that we get out in front of this telecommunication devices. The electronic media that we have today, I believe you can ask probably any parent or educator in this room 
Uh, it is a daily challenge to stay in front of this. But I think our school leadership has responded uh, appropriately and wisely. Uh, we've instituted policy. The board has a good policy. It's, it's pretty strict. And uh, we've 